Hello and welcome to Desperate Dave's Distractions. I'm Desperate Dave and this is my flatmate, uh, Mr Wu. Um, and we've been self-isolating for just over a week now uh, whilst I've been suffering from the symptoms of COVID-19. Fortunately, I'm a lot better, but we had been running low on supplies. So I'm really excited that this morning, uh, my one of my colleagues dropped off a uh, supply, set of supplies for us. So we're gonna be doing an unbagging of the Tesco's bags to find out what the surprise is waiting for us. Now, this is really exciting. It, um, very grateful to my colleague and also very grateful to everybody else who's helping out their neighbors by delivering goods from supermarkets and keeping people supplied with food during this difficult time of the coronavirus crisis. Um, in fact, it made me think about getting Red Cross parcels during the war when people were in, in prisoner of war camps. When I opened the door up and there were two bags of uh, supplies there, it made me really happy and excited. Um, so it, in fact, it felt a little bit like Christmas. So since it feels like Christmas, let's put on a bit of Christmas music. And a Christmas hat. Actually, I because I'm self-isolating away from my normal home, I don't have my usual Christmas hat, so I have to make do with a slightly different one. But anyway, it will do for these purposes. So, without further ado, let's see the bags that we have. Um, settle down with a coffee. Oh, I should say before I settle down with a coffee and the, doing the unbagging. Um, if you enjoy this video and any of my other Desperate Dave content, then please feel free to donate to my coffee account and any proceeds will be uh, used to support people who are suffering uh, from the coronavirus crisis, in particular homeless, homeless people and the self-employed. Um, enough of the commercial ad. Right, let's have a look at the bag. Wow, oh, it's quite an interesting box um, in bag from Tesco's. Um, now, I um, occasionally look at uh, game un uh, unboxing reviews. They normally have the instructions on the outside. They tell you how many players it's for. This, this doesn't seem to do that. However, it does say no time for waste. A good message and fully support the environmental message there. Committed to reducing food waste from farm to fork. Well, that's really important at these times. Don't buy more than you need from the supermarkets. Remember, no panic buying, folks. Thank you very much. Right, so let's open it up and see what's inside. It's like Christmas, isn't it? We have oh, some lettuce. Well, that's going to be helpful. Uh, I was feeling a little bit like the last few days been having less fresh food, so uh, thanks to my colleague for getting that. Thank you, Mr. Wu. Yeah, you approve? Good. He approves. Um, for those of you who've not met Mr. Wu before, he's he's prone to say, don't lose your head at time of crisis, but sometimes he does. Oh, no, you're not allowed to peek. Right, carrying on, what else have we got? Chocolate croissants, they'll be tasty for breakfast. Um, and, oh, some porridge oats. Uh, and, and actually, this is from, from my colleague. It's already open, but they're the ones that they didn't need. Uh, that's going to be good. I might do a bit of a, uh, make some porridge later and maybe do a video of that. Um, really good stuff to eat, healthy and good for you porridge. Um, and easy to cook in the microwave, so I'll show you that later. What else have we got? Tomatoes, excellent. Cherry tomatoes, that's always good and healthy. Um, some walnut pieces. Very nice. And all sorts of interesting components in this box. Uh, oh, mushrooms. Now that's great because I've got a whole load of garlic. I've got a mass amount of garlic, so we'd maybe do some, some garlic mushrooms later. Uh, maybe not today, maybe later in the week. Malt loaf, that's great. It should keep for a while and full of energy. Um, sultanas, oh wow, that's going to be really, really good. Could go with the porridge and um, healthy bit of food. And it, Keeps a while too, so uh, good bit of fruit there. Talking of fruit, we've got oh, bananas. All right, you like bananas too. Yeah, we, we might go and have a banana duel later. Can you hold this? See if you can hold it. 
for those of you who've seen my other videos, we've got a dueling corridor, so maybe we'll have a banana battle at times. Yes, okay, probably enough of that for now. What else have we got? Oh, some lentil soup, excellent. And more lentil soup, and it's organic too. Um, all good vegetarian food here. Uh, an orange, that will be excellent for making some uh, uh, mocktails later. Um, and maybe I'll have those in the isolation ice bar uh, this evening, perhaps. Or maybe add it with some spice, I don't know, we'll see. And a grapefruit. And, oh, one other thing. Ah, now this I've been waiting for, this is really important. This is from the chemist, uh, so my colleague dropped into the pharmacy. Uh, I managed to get through to my surgery the other day and order some new asthma supplies because I need to get a bit of asthma, so looking after yourself if you, if you have respiratory problems at these times, really important. What have we got? Uh, good, a new Ventolin inhaler. I was getting worried about not having that. Um, really helpful to um, help with your airways if you do get asthma. And most importantly of all, ah, a spacer. Now, the nurse told me about this. I, I haven't actually used one of these before, but I've been really uh, wanting to get this because it, it's good to, to use your asthma to just space out the, the Ventolin and help you breathe it in in a more measured way. Uh, the other thing, really helpful, I think. Um, what do you reckon? Yes, it could act as an oxygen mask for Mr. Wu. In fact, I'm going to... Oh, I know what I'm going to use this for. I'm going to use this when I phone into work uh, on video conference to work to just let them know that I'm all right. Well, actually, to, to let them know that I'm not very well at home and I'm on oxygen. Um, yeah, well, don't tell them that because um, they might think I'm shirking when actually I'm quite le legitimately sane at home. But um, actually, if they're watching this, then uh, probably the least of my concerns is them thinking I'm shirking. I think they might be thinking about other things about my future career. But anyway, let's not worry about my future career and how much I'm ruining it by these videos. Uh, that's the end of the first bag. On to the second one. Um, oh, it looks exactly the same. Has it got exactly the same food inside? Oh. We've, well, we've got more soup though. Some tomato soup. Mushroom soup. That's tasty. Ah, uh, cream and tomato soup. Now that, this is good because I did say to my colleague uh, when I wasn't feeling well earlier, um, some soup would be good to just help nice and quick and easy to eat and sustaining. Organic hummus, mm, that would be good because he's also brought me some bread and I've been looking forward to having some bread because I ran out of that a few days ago. Um, and oh, cream and tomato soup. Some milk. Now, I have to confess, uh, Mr. Wu did cheat earlier. He, he did get the milk out earlier so I could have a coffee. But otherwise, that was the only thing we'd looked at before this unbagging. Um, and some orange juice. Uh, that will be good. A uh, couple of onions. Good, I, I might be able to juggle with those later. No, I won't be able to juggle with those later. Uh, maybe later on whilst I'm in self-isolation I might try a little bit of juggling to entertain you or not, as the case may be. Anyway, thanks for listening, thanks for watching. Uh, take care of yourselves, eat well, eat healthily if you're at home and um, eat, look after your neighbours. And If you are able to go out and, out and about and help people who aren't, please do so at this difficult time. Thanks very much. You've been watching Desperate Dave. Bye.